Hello, um, welcome to the second course in Echrometrics. Uh, of course, it's for PhD, and this video is an introduction to this course. I'm going to explain how I'm going to teach how, how I will uh, I designed the course. So it's a brief introduction, and there will be lots of tips, advices of uh, for your PhD life so um, I I hope the, the the tips are useful let me start so let me introduce myself first my name is Byung Park uh, I am an assistant professor in the department and my email address is given there bpark2 albany.edu uh, and of course the email is the fastest way to contact me and the preferred way uh, of communication uh, I do not go to the office and maybe I am not going to the office until the COVID uh, pandemic goes away so I, I I of course I have an office in the building but uh, you don't need to know that so Please feel free to email me. Uh, I'll be happy to talk with you. So feel free. And uh, uh, let me directly go down, go to the the main point. How I'm going to teach this course? Uh, basically, there is two main components for online uh, learning and teaching. First, the lectures will be recorded uh, and posted on. YouTube. I use YouTube because it's it's um, the most convenient way to watch videos, I believe. So you can watch it anywhere, anytime. Um, but I plan to upload videos on every Monday and Wednesday. And it's just my plan because if I don't have that plan, I get lazy. So I will try to keep the date and uh, keep the days. And like I will assume that this course is a, a Monday Wednesday course but you don't need to watch them on Monday and Wednesday it is your choice so of course the flexibility is the best advantage uh, of uh, learning online so uh, it's your choice when to take it uh, and from my experience uh, I had I you know we went through online teaching for one and a half year, like I like one and a half semester last year. So then I realized that uh, online lecture goes much faster than what I usually do in the classroom. So maybe I don't have interactions. Or oh, when I when I if I teach in the classroom, I explain things on the blackboard, then I have a direct immediate reaction from students and typically almost always the reaction is uh, kind of like I don't understand anything something like that so that's what I I see from students face in the classroom but here I'm just looking at the cam um, uh, I I don't know what what you think about like the lecture so that's why I go faster and I assume that you understand what I said and that's so as a result I think one and a half hour lecture is compressed into like one hour also there is no t waste of time like saying hello and saying goodbye and erasing the blackboard or some kind of uh, like distributing handouts opening the books so that's why, like overall, uh, I think one hour for a lecture is kind of a uh, standard, is comparable to what I had I used to do in the classroom. So that means uh, my plan is to upload a one hour lecture on Monday and another one hour lecture on Wednesday. Uh, by the but the the video one video is not going to be as long as one hour. Uh, a lecture will be uh, recorded several in different in several videos, 
so each video will be short like I aim 10 to 15 minutes so I check a time like it's been five minutes uh, so I try to keep it short so that your concentration uh, remains survives uh, a whole video and also I have a channel YouTube channel Byung Park Soon Yeolbani it's public channel so you can subscribe you can uh, please like the video uh, hit the like buttons Just kidding um, but I make all the videos public publicly accessible because there is no point of restricting the videos I I know that people are not interested in watching those videos so even if I uh, publicly make, make the videos publicly available no one is going to steal anything <laughs> they are not and if someone voluntarily uh, watch my videos I'd be really happy I'd be very glad but I know that no one is going to do that uh, so well, everything will be public publicly available so you can watch the videos anywhere on any computer without logging into YouTube simply uh, search uh, type Byung Park Suni Albany on YouTube then you will see the, the videos and so this is that's that's just uh, lecture videos it's purely one-sided I only I talk and I don't know what you think where you got lost uh, so I encourage you to use the office hours I hold office hours on zoom uh, every Tuesday and Thursday between 10 and 11 a.m. or by appointment I'm also very uh, flexible in making appointments all the time I, I'm always home all the time so uh, how it works it's optional by the way office hour it's typical office hours instead we are on zoom meeting room not in my office so I'll be just waiting in the I will open a zoom meeting room and I sit at the desk like this and I will be doing something else or I may be surfing on the internet killing time Anyhow, I will be waiting for someone to come in the meeting room and anyone is welcome. Actually, I am teaching another section this semester, which is for undergraduate students, and they may come to the same office hours. Uh, so it's optional. It's, it's just uh, your choice. If you have questions, come ask, ask them. Or if you need any advices, uh, then I'll be happy to help you or if you have a data you want to analyze or you want some help on the data analysis then also I'll be very glad so feel free I am I am curious what you think on how you live and uh, what you think about the course any suggestions uh, feedbacks on my teaching and uh, like my materials would be welcome seriously I'm I I look forward to your feedback I am wondering who uh, who you are and want to interact with you and homework there will be five or more homework assignments I don't know how many there will be but I guess more than that uh, uh, I think we will not include data in the analysis exercise oh I have to update this uh, but you, uh, so it's wrong there will be no data analysis exercises because I tried I tried to include uh, programming homework but the problem is I cannot teach the program like MATLAB uh, and uh, students ha do not have time to learn MATLAB it takes a lot of time to learn the program and it is it is worth spending the time uh, programming is important in your uh, PhD in your uh, for your PhD uh, successful PhD life but I know that you right now you have to study for the comms so uh, I realize that students typically give up or just skip those exercises so then okay I I have no incentive to do this here but if you are interested uh, let me know I'll be happy to 
work with you. And the hallmarks will be must be typed. You cannot take a picture of your handwritten answers. So typing your homework is another exercise. Your dis your dissertations must be typed. Your job market paper must be typed. Your advisor, future advisor, expects you uh, to type your uh, ideas on a formal uh, art article. So you have to practice that. Start the practice from now. So you have to type your answers, uh, type the equations and your sentences. And important thing here is co-work is not allowed. Core, I usually, I recommended co-working, but I realized that students uh, abuse cooperation, the co-work. So I'm not sure if you have heard about this last year, last May or so, in the last field exam in Ecrometrics, I found that it was me who found the cheating. So there were, I don't know, eight students taking, taking the exam, uh, but some of them have identical answers. Identical, literally identical. Every mistakes are the same in different students' answers. So surprisingly, the answers are not correct. If it was correct, then it was hard to tell the cheating but the answer is wrong and there are many mistakes in notation and uh, uh, spellings but they are not filtered out at all so I was very much disappointed by those students so since then I decided not to allow co-work so I will be very strict I am very strict in that so last year when I catch and I detect the cheating. So it was me who caught the cheating and I, I insisted to kick them out. I, I think they do not deserve uh, any PhD education from that point. So, uh, so I, am the mo I, I, I think I am the most strict professor in that uh, dimension and I take pride in being strict, being serious uh, in uh, handling this kind of cheating behavior so do not try me don't test me right okay I am going to stop the video here it's been like 12 minutes so I am going to continue exact uh, the, uh, this uh, introduction in the next video thank you for watching